These are the best Joy-Cons available on the market right now, and I'm saying it. These are the MobaPad M6 HD. Now, you might remember my old videos of the MobaPad M6 from quite a while ago. These were brilliant. I've got videos on the channel. And also, you may have just seen my video on the MobaPad M6S, which is like the baby brother of the HD version. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check out that video as well, because there might be details that I miss in this one that are in this video. <laughs> but yeah, these are amazing. So on the box, it says HD linear motors, which means HD rumble. These have HD rumble. We've got hall effect sensing joysticks. We've got Amiibo support via NFC. We've got six axis gyro. We've got Omron mechanical switches inside here. Oh, we've got macro programming as well and other stuff. I will go over the specs fully in a minute, but let's take a look at what's inside the box. Oh, these are beautiful. I love the fact that these are white. They are so premium looking. Now you might actually prefer the M6. On the left, we've got the M6S, which is like the turquoise and purple kind of color. And then on the right, we've got the M6 HD, which is the white ones. Now there's another box inside the box. And inside here, if you haven't seen my M6S video, you will see we've got face plates which is the same kind of thing as these. These older style ones had removable face plates. So you could like pull off the face plate here like this and you could change these over or do whatever you want with it. But they've changed it up with these new ones because these actually have different gates on them. So you can see on the replacements here, we've got a circular gate on this one, but on this one, we've actually got a hexagonal gate and the opposite on these ones. So we've got a hexagonal gate and then a circular gate. So if you only wanted a circular gate, you could actually pull this off like so pop this one on and now you've got two circular gates and I like the fact that they're the same color because with the M6S they had different colors so if you wanted to go all circular you had to go purple if you wanted to go hexagonal gates you had to go all blue but these are really really nice I love the fact that they've changed the you know added the inclusion of that and the reason they've done this is so that you can have more of like a d-pad feel so it's more accurate in terms of the direction you're pushing. And that's why it's got that hexagonal gate there. And I really like the fact that they've given you the option and it comes included. Now the D-pad as well has a different end. Okay, I've just lost the dome <laughs> for the D-pad. I've just spent like five minutes looking around the room. I don't know where it went. When I pulled off the faceplate, it pinged off. So I'm gonna use the one from the M6S as a demonstration because I've no idea where it went. I just don't know, but it is white. You saw it a minute ago. This is the M6S one, but you've got this really nice dome just here instead of a standard D-pad. If you wanna use it, it's more akin to an Xbox style, but you don't have to use this. You can use this one. And what I really like about it is that they've put a notch on there. So on the left-hand side just here, you can actually like pop it off and it is easier if you remove the faceplate and then you can pop it off like so to swap it out. Whereas if it didn't have that notch, it would be incredibly difficult to get that out. But you know, there we go. So I'm gonna put this back on like so. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the circular gate. There we go, just like that. As easy as that to swap them over. But this D-pad, I'm just gonna go straight in with the D-pad. The D-pad is amazing. This is, I would say, the best D-pad on a independent Joy-Con alternative. Now my favorite has got to be the retro flag, but that's like a dockable thing. This is an independent wireless Joy-Con and the D-pad is lovely. It rolls around perfectly. It feels really nice, it is clicky, but it just feels so good. It's quite raised up. It is flat as well, but it feels really nice. And obviously you can use the dome as well, which feels just as good in my opinion. I absolutely love this D-pad. Are you joking me? There it is. <laughs> and before we go any further, I didn't read out the specs. So yes, these have NFC, so you can use Amiibos. They are Bluetooth wireless, so they can be used independently as standalone Joy-Cons or wirelessly if you so wish, but they do not come with an, like a, a centerpiece. So bear that in mind. Uh, they do have gyro, they've got turbo, they've got macro, they've got button swap via these back paddles as well. We've got mechanical face buttons, and, well, actually, and triggers and bumpers as well. We'll talk about that soon. And we've got Hall Effect Sensing joysticks. We've got a 17-hour battery here and 
HD rumble as well. So these basically have everything that the official Joy-Cons have. So I've already talked about the D-pad. Let's go over the face buttons. So the face buttons are super clicky and they feel amazing. Now these actually differ from the M6S. They don't tell you what switches are in the S and the S comparing them right now are a little bit more mushy, but the HD ones here are actually Omron switches, which is what you find in pretty much every gaming mouse. And these are gonna have five to 10 million click lifespan, as opposed to what's meant to be about a one to two million click lifespan on a normal button. So these are a lot better wearing. And on top of that, being mechanical switches, they are much faster to input your input and uh, they're quicker to return as well they're basically just way more accurate which is awesome but there is a little bit of a negative for some people and that is they are clicky like a mouse switch so have a listen So that might get on your nerves or your partner's nerves if you're playing at night with no volume or something like that. For me, I don't care. I absolutely love having mechanical switches. It's one of the things I really love about having the original ones. On top of having amazing mechanical switches, yes, these have Hall Effect Sensing joysticks as well. So you're not gonna get drift. You're also gonna get better accuracy and no dead zone as well. So these are super, super accurate. I've had no issue with having any dead zone or any sticking or anything like that and they are super smooth these joysticks are beautiful they are so good and that's because they've got these like anti-friction rings here if the camera wants to focus we've got this metal ring around the actual joystick there and this anti-friction like plastic ring around here and they are buttery smooth and also the caps on here like the thumbstick tops are beautiful they've got like a knurled edge i don't know if you'll see that but they've got like a knurled edge on the top and they are really really nice i love them a lot like they just feel so good but now let's quickly compare them to the joy cons so in terms of feel they are so much nicer look at the ergonomic change here like how big this is in terms of comparing it to the original joy cons the original joy cons are so small and thin and they're just not very comfortable at all whereas these are they really have some heft to them, playing them wirelessly like this, you could easily play these like stand alone. Like they feel really nice, really big and bulky in your hands. You can get to those back paddles really easily. Really, really enjoy the size of these. And the other thing is, is that right joystick placement. Look how rubbish this is. It's all cramped up. It's not ergonomic at all. Why they went for an asymmetrical design, I don't know. It really annoys me. But this, because this is so far over, it is so comfortable to hold. Like you're getting a proper grip on it. And I feel like I'm not even using an asymmetrical design layout you know this feels so nice and then on the switch as well there's a little bit of a negative because they're quite stiff but like not too bad but they are a lot stiffer than the official joy cons like so but if i go into prince of persia here they feel amazing and i cannot get over how good this feels like this not only looks amazing but they feel incredible like they feel so good in the hands i could play like this for ages you know like they're so accurate so quick to respond like this i just can't i can't get over how freaking good these are <laughs> i really cannot get over how good these are and they feel amazing in the hands there's another slight negative so i've already said that they're quite stiff on like attaching them the only other negative is the actuation of the bumpers not so much the triggers just here but the bumpers have got quite a lot of pre-travel so you've got to press it quite a lot and then click and there's a little bit of post travel that's the only negative if you're pressing this with like intention then you're not going to miss a click but if you're very light on the click then you might not click it you have to press until you hear the click right and that's the only other kind of negative here but these feel amazing like they are so good and those mechanical switches freaking love it now we do have some features going on here we've got turbo we've got macro and button swap as well so to do turbo we're going to press this cog and i'm going to press y once now if i hold y he's now going to press it for me indefinitely right so he's just going to press it 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 for me now if i press cog and y again nothing's going to happen until i press y and now it's going to just indefinitely press it for me and he's just going to keep pressing it keep pressing it keep pressing it for me it's great now if i want to cancel that cog and y 
and now that's turned off you know if i hold it nothing happens if i press it once it's just once it's just turned it off now we do have button swap as well so i can button swap any of these buttons on the right side to the back paddle or left side to the left side back paddle so to do that i'm going to press the cog button for a few seconds until it lights up then i'm going to press y and then the back paddle button and now I've got a back paddle button swap, you know? So I can press it once and it's just pressing it like it should do. And this has true button swap because if I hold Y here, look, do you see how he charges up and then let go? That is mimicked on the back. So if you hold, is actually a true button swap as opposed to like a macro record of that button. Don't worry if you don't know what I'm talking about. This is a good thing. Now, if I press the cog button again and hold it until it lights up and then press that back paddle, it's gonna cancel it out. So now there's nothing on the back paddle, but we also have macro as well. So with macro, I'm gonna press and hold until that button lights up like so. And then I'm gonna press jump, jump, jump. And then I'm gonna press Y, Y, hold Y for the turbo thing, uh, you know, the supercharge, bump, done. Press the back paddle, done. I could press that once, and now he's gonna replay that action for me once. So he's just gonna do that for me once over and then stop, like so. But if I double press that back paddle, one, two, like so, now it's gonna just keep doing it. So he's gonna indefinitely keep pressing that for me. You know, he's gonna just keep going around and around and around. I'll let it play out so that you can see that it does do it again. And I think we're already doing it. That's the second time he's done the charge up, right? So it's just gonna keep happening. Now, if I press that back paddle again, it's gonna cancel it out or I can just like move around and cancel it out. And to cancel it completely, hold down the cog button like so, and then press that back paddle and it stops. Now there is actually an app that you can get for these and you can control so much stuff. You can change the dead zone, I think, on the app. You can change macros, button swaps, all that kind of stuff via the app. The only problem is, it's all in Chinese and it's not on the App Store or the Play Store, so you have to side load the app. I couldn't get it to work, it wouldn't work. They give you a QR code to download it with, essentially, and my phone just was like, nope, not doing it, Not, I can't do it, so I haven't been able to test that for you, and I'm sorry, Like, I really wanted to test that for you, but if they ever launch it on the Play Store, because I'm on Android, and it's actually in English because currently it's only in Chinese, right? Well, then I will download it and I'll do a whole separate video about that. It's kind of annoying, but I've not had any issues with these out of the box. So there we go. Now, the other difference between the M6S and these is the battery life. So we've already said that these switches are different. This, the HD, has Omron switches, which are like top end, right? These ones are like unspecified, right? But we also have better battery life. So this has 17 hours of battery life. These have 15 hours of battery life. So you're getting an extra two hours out of these. How, I don't know, because this has got more features with that HD rumble, but there we go. The other thing, of course, is rumble. These have like normal rumble. These have Alps HD rumble linear motors. So they do have HD rumble, and I can test that for you now by playing Mario Wonder. Okay, so I'm in Mario Wonder, and I've chosen this on purpose because when you run over these little blocks, it plays a tune via the HD rumble, but only when your Joy-Cons are detached. Now, this is the same with the actual official Joy-Cons. I actually thought, hang on, these don't have HD rumble because it's not working. And then I tried it with the official Joy-Cons and it still doesn't work unless you've got them taken off. So weirdly, it just acts like normal kind of HD rumble when you're running around like this, you know, with them attached. But if I take these off and use them in like detached mode, like so, and, and then I run around, now it's doing the HD rumble thing. And I'm gonna try and be really quiet and I really hope that you can hear this on the, the microphone and on camera here, but running over these little blocks, it goes do -loo 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 -loo. That's exactly what it sounds like. And you can hear it because the rumble motors are that good. It's mimicking sound. It's crazy. That's like part of the benefit of HD rumble, right? And these do that and you can hear it. If I put them next to my head, I look like a crazy. I mean, I am crazy, but yeah, I look like a mentor, but I can hear it. And I, I'm not, I don't need to go to a mental asylum, okay? Like, listen. I really hope that you can hear that. How cool 
is it that these have true HD rumble? I've been waiting for Joy-Con alternatives to have proper HD rumble, and it's here. These actually have HD rumble. Why, I don't know why Mario Wonder here doesn't like use that whilst it's attached. I don't actually know, but it does work and they are really good. Now, price-wise, I'm not really gonna say because I don't know because it varies, you know? In America, the M6S, the other ones down here that I've previously looked at, are around $50 from the Mobipad website. These are like $80 or $90, but here in the UK, there's no like UK supplier or anything. You have to buy these from AliExpress and the prices are all over the place. So, you know, you have to import them from China, essentially, for if you're in the UK, at least. And yeah, the prices are wild. So I can't really comment on that. But honestly, even for $80, I absolutely recommend these. These are amazing. If you want true pro Joy-Cons, they're here. This has everything. It's got mechanical Omron switches, which are beautiful, highly accurate, really good, huge lifespan. You've got a 17 hour battery life, actually HD rumble. You've got NFC with Amiibo support. You've got so much stuff going on here. Hall effect sensing joysticks. You've got replaceable face plates with octagonal gates if you actually want to use that, or you can swap them out for the circular gates. You've got anti-friction rings on both the gates and the actual sticks with those metal plates. You've got a swappable D-pad for one of the dome style Xbox ones. The D-pad is actually good. The D-pad's actually good. And oh man, I, I can't get over these. These are my favorite, and if not the absolute best, Joy-Con alternatives that you can get on the market right now as an independent Joy-Con, you know, that you can use as Joy-Con, not like the docky style ones. These are freaking amazing. And they're wireless, you know, they're Bluetooth and all that stuff. I can't get enough of these. They are amazing. Let me know your thoughts on the Mobipad M6 HD. Are you waiting to get some? Were you waiting for my video? I'm sorry that it took me forever to do, but it's here now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Show me some love down in the comments. Like this video, subscribe, become a member, and check out mine and AJ's podcast over here where we talk about all things gaming. And check out the Mobipad M6S video down here because that has very similar features and it might even have some more detail in that video that I might have forgot to say here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.